and welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm a 21 year old makeup artist from Dublin and this is my first YouTube video. So obviously it's not by the title, it's kind of a get to know me video Q&A style. So I have a few questions here that I was asked over on Instagram and then I just added in some myself just to add a bit extra to the video. So I'm going to separate the video into two parts. So the first part is going to be just all about me really and the second part then is going to be like about makeup stuff as well. So I'm just going to jump right into the video and I have all the questions wrote down here. So the first question I have here is what is my channel going to be about? So my channel is going to be about all the stuff that I love to watch. So obviously makeup because that's such a big part of my life and that's what I'm passionate about. And then other things as well I want it to be about. It's going to be like fashion, travel, lifestyle, a few vlogs. Like a kind of a mixed bag of everything because that's what I enjoy watching the most. So I think that's kind of the best way to go with my channel. So the next question that I have here is, do I have any pets? Yeah, I have two dogs. I have a miniature Jack Russell called Scooby and I have a golden cocker spaniel called Poppy. And they are literally the cutest dogs ever. They're little mad things and I literally just love them so much. So the next question I have here is, who is my favourite YouTubers? So I actually have a list wrote down here of the ones that I've been watching the most recently. But my all time favourite top YouTuber would have to be Ellie Darby. I'm literally obsessed with the girl. I think she's literally a queen. I think she's a boss. I absolutely love her to bits. I can watch her videos on repeat. I just love her so much. Um, so she's like the top. Like no one can compare to literally her. And then the rest would be like Jeffrey Sire, Kaylee MUA, Madison Sarah. Misha Grimes, Rachel Leary, Shane Dawson, Brad Mondo, Eleanor Neal, Jamie Genevieve, Lucy Jessica Carter and the Sidemen. So really it is a mixed bag but that's kind of why I want my channel to be all different things because that's what I like to watch. I can't sit and watch the same videos kind of over and over again. So that's kind of the way I want to go with my channel. So the next question I have here is who was your best friend? So Shannon is my best friend. So I've known Shannon since I was about 11 or 12. And we know each other through Irish dancing and we've stayed friends even though we both don't dance anymore. Um, she's the girl who's in a lot of my photos over on my Instagram and she models for a lot of my makeup. Um, she's absolutely gas, love her, she's a little mad team and she can't wait to come onto my channel. But obviously we can't be together because all this madness going on in the world now. But when we're reunited, um, that's probably the first thing we'll do. So that's that. So the next question I have here is, how did I get the confidence to start my channel? So basically, if you would have told me last year that I would be starting a YouTube channel and I would be even doing makeup on other people and having a makeup account on Instagram, I literally would have laughed at you. Like, I didn't have the confidence at all to do it. But I think you just have to push yourself. And I think with growing up as well, I learned to not care what other people think about me and just really to do what makes you happy. And I knew that this was something that I always wanted to do and I probably should have done it years ago, but at least I'm getting around to doing it now. You just have to do what makes you happy really, I think, and not care what other people think about you. So the next question I have here is, what is my favorite clothing brand at the moment? So the ones that I would go to in town that would be my favourite brands would be Bershka, Zara and Stradivarius. Probably Stradivarius would be number one, I'm not going to lie, I literally can't leave the shop without at least one thing. And then as regards to online, oh literally everything like Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, Boo Hill, In The Soil, Nasty Gal. They'd probably be my top five online at the moment but I'm always on the prowl for a new website to shop online on because I'm addicted to it like so it's not great but I love it. <laughs> So the next question that I have here is, what is your favourite restaurant? So my top favourite restaurant would probably be TGI's. I'm just loving TGI's at the moment. I'll find literally any excuse to go to it. It used to be so bad because when I'd walk home from college, um, I used to walk by TGI's and the smell of it. And we wouldn't be eating all day in college, like you wouldn't get a break. And I used to literally die of the smell of it. Like that's probably why I'm so obsessed with it at the moment. Other places I love is like Thunder Roads. Um, love going there for like a few cocktails and a bit of food. There's lots of places like in town that I love. I just actually can't think of any at the moment. Um, then like I love anything bad for you as well. So like any food that's bad for you. Like I love the likes of Five Guys and all. Like oh that is just everything. Like I'm obsessed with that. But like that's the kind of food that I like. And I love going out for like food and cocktails. Like that's probably my favourite thing to do. Like one of my favourites I'd say. Going out for food and cocktails. So yeah that's basically it. So the next holiday, the next holiday. So the next question I have here is, what is your favourite holiday destinations? So I have a couple wrote down here, so I wouldn't forget any. 
So the first place I'll talk about is Tenerife. So me and my boyfriend went to Tenerife last year for two weeks and literally loved it, like fell in love with the place. It's just stunning over there. Um, there's so much to do as well, like you're not just kind of stuck at a pill for two weeks or stuck at the beach for two weeks, like there's loads of activities you can do as well. Like we went to like the zoo, the water park and there's loads of like shops over there, like there's Stradivarius and Desire over there, a big one. So we went shopping a lot as well, like and like for the nightlife as well, there's a split in it, like there's a strip like where there's always a nightclub, so if you really want to go out, out, you could go to them. Or there's like loads of lovely cocktail bars over there as well that we'd go to sometimes as well. And it's just lovely over there, like I absolutely love it. So I'm hoping to get back over there for two weeks now in August. So hopefully this whole thing blows over and I can get going in August. But if not, I'm sure I'll definitely be going soon again because I literally love it there. So the next place I'm going to talk about is New York. So I was there when I was five and I was there when I was about 10 or 11. It's just amazing over there. I remember being there when I was like about that second time like when I was about 10 or 11 and I just loved the place but I'd love to go back now that I'm a little bit older so hopefully I'll get going there soon as well. I'm just so good to go on holidays everywhere like I'll literally go to anywhere on holidays like. So the next place I'm going to talk about is Amsterdam. So I'm just back from Amsterdam. I went at the start of February and had a ball. Loved it over there. There's loads of touristy things to do over there. I think nearly everyone from Dublin has nearly been to Amsterdam now at this stage. Like it is great over there. You just have a really good laugh. Like there's loads of things to do. Like Madame Tussauds, Ripley's, the Heineken experience. Like just absolutely loads. Like I'd be here all day talking about the things like but for the whole four days I was there, I was literally busy, so I'd love to go back there again because there's probably a lot of things that I missed. So, like, we didn't do the lookout or like didn't do the canal or anything, but I'd absolutely love to go back there, it was great. Like, so the next place I'm going to talk about is London. So, the last time I was in London was not November gone, was the November before that, and we went over for my boyfriend's birthday to see a DJ in Printworks to see Bicep. We had a ball over there and then we just went shopping so we didn't get much of the touristy things done. I've done them all before when I was younger but I would like to go back to just do them again. Um, the shopping over there was lovely as well so I'll probably go back there soon enough as well just to kind of have a look around shop and do a few of the touristy things. Kind of would probably wait till another DJ is playing in print works that he'd be into going to because he's a DJ himself so we would probably just wait and see, play by ear and then kind of book a flight over and see. So. I loved London and then the next place is Disneyland Paris. I'm supposed to be going to Disneyland Paris next week for me 24th as a present for my boyfriend but obviously it's cancelled with everything going on in the world now. I, I am devastated about it but obviously I'm so lucky that um, like all my family are safe and healthy at the moment so you kind of have to see the best in the situation like and we will get going once this all clears up and I've been there a couple of times before like when I was much younger but I'd love to go back now that I'm a little bit older again like that and just I just love it over there like I'm Disney mad so I think I'll just have a ball like so that's it for the places that I love to go into and the next question is quite similar it's where would I like to travel so I have a few places dropped down here as well like I'd actually love to go everywhere like I would literally go anywhere with anyone like do you know I'm I just love traveling like I love going on airplanes anything like that um, so the places I would really love to go to, a lot of it is in America because I've only ever been to New York and New Jersey. So I'd love to go to LA, Vegas, San Francisco and Florida. They're the places that I'd love to see in America. And I'd obviously love to see more but they would be like the top. And then the rest would be like kind of them exotic places like Thailand, Maldives and Dubai. Other places then I'd like to go to would be like Greece, Italy, Croatia and Mexico. Like I'd love to go to them as well. But again, I'd love to just go anywhere. Like and another place I have wrote down is Tokyo. I know that's a bit random like because I'm like all exotic and then all American like, you know. But um, I'd love to just see it. Like it's just a completely different culture and I think it's just good to kind of see them things. So yeah, that's really it for the places that I'd really like to go. But again, I would go anywhere. So I'm just going to jump right into the makeup part of the video now. So the first question I have here is how I got started in makeup and where did I study? So I want to make a whole video about this separately but basically the gist of it is I've always had an interest in makeup and um, last April or May I applied for Charlene Collins Makeup Academy and I got in for the following November. 
So I got a job then in a makeup counter in August and I'm still working there now and I'm actually finished my Charlene Collins Academy course now. So I'm loving my job, I love the course and it's probably the best thing I've ever done so I'm, I'm delighted that I did that. Now so for the next question I have is what is my experience working on a counter? So as I just said I got a job working on a counter in August. Um, I absolutely love my job, like, you kind of get to meet all different people. You're it does build your confidence a lot in makeup, I will say. Because um, you have to be able to talk about products and you have to be able to like show off a product and try it on all different types of people. So I really do recommend working on a counter if you're looking to just get started in makeup. It's kind of a good way to get in and get started and get a feel for it as well. So yeah, I love that. That's great. So the next question I have here is, what is my favourite everyday daytime cream? So I actually had to write it down because I always forget the name, but it's the Ordinary Natural Moisturising Factors plus HA. So that's hyaluronic acid. So I have like dehydrated skin. I think it's brilliant for that. It works perfect for me and it's very affordable. Um, anyone that I know that's tried it has liked it as well. Um, it's alcohol free and fragrance free as well, which is brilliant because I don't like putting any of that stuff on my skin because it will break me out. So that's what I love and it's very affordable. It's only about five, I think. Um, yeah, so that'd be my favourite one at the moment. So the next question I have here is what is my favourite lip combo? So I've actually just changed this recently just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So at the moment, my favourite is MAC Strip Down Liner with MAC Cherish Lipstick and the Essence Shine 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 Lip Gloss, just the clear one, um, over that. But I do love um, MAC Spice Lip Liner and MAC Honey Love as well. They're also two of my favourites, so I can't really pick, but at the moment I'm kind of edging more towards Cherish and Strip Down. So yeah, that would be my favourite at the moment. So the next question I have here is, do I prefer drugstore makeup or high-end makeup? And to be honest, I love both. I love trying out different things. Um, like, for instance, like the foundation that I'm wearing at the moment that I love, that literally cannot be beat in my eyes, is the Maybelline Super Safe Foundation. But I will try out other high-end foundations as well, because it's nice to like try the two. Um, I think drugstore like makeup has literally gotten so much better recently. I don't know if that's just me noticing it, but over the past few years, like you can't beat like some of the stuff that you can get in the drugstore. Like you like the Catrice concealer, I get that in pennies, and the Revolution concealer from Superdrug. Like oh my god, I just don't think you can actually get any better than that. But then some stuff I love that are high end that I probably would be reluctant to move away from like MAC Fix Plus and MAC Studio Fix Powder. Like I love them. So, but I love to try different things all the time. So um, I just kind of keep an eye out and to be watching out for different things and trying all the different things. Because you never know what you can find. So I love both to be honest really. That's the answer. So the next question I have here is do I work for a brand or am I a freelance makeup artist? So I actually work for a brand at the moment, but I work part time, I work four days a week. So when I can, I do freelance appointments as well on the side. So the next question I have here is, what is a good set of brushes? So if you're looking for a set of literally every brush, the Charlene Collins Cosmetic Brush Set is brilliant. It has like foundation, concealer, powder, contour, um, all different eye brushes, fluffy ones, flat ones, packer brush, pointer brush, everything. Um, I think it's amazing. I'm not just saying that because I was in our academy either. I love our brushes. I use them every day um, and they're perfect. I wash them all the time. They're still perfect. So I love them brushes. Another um, really good brush brand would be Crown Brushes. Um, I love their brushes. I must have got a brush set off them about four years ago now and they're still perfect. And I wash them all the time obviously as well and love them brushes. Um, places then, other places that I like to get brushes like maybe separate would be like MAC and Ingla. I know they are a little bit more expensive for their brushes but I do love their brushes and I couldn't really go out with them. I do love them. And Real Techniques brushes as well and Boots. If you keep an eye out for the offers on them as well, they do be really good. So love them brushes. Moving on then, the next question I have is what is my own go-to foundation? So my favourite foundation at the moment is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I absolutely love that foundation. It is full coverage but that's what I like on myself and I'll wear that every day. But it's great for a night out as well. Um, it's a little bit more on the drier side. But I always look after my skin anyway. And I do have a prep to it. Like the right primers and illuminators like the MAC Strobe Cream. So I love that foundation. And I think it's only about €12. Euro. It's so affordable. I absolutely love it. 
And then another foundation that I love at the moment for like more of a dewy or finish, um, more of like um, a natural look. Like not even so natural, it, you still look like you have makeup on, but it's just more dewy. The L'Oreal True Match is gorgeous for that, I love that. That's still really cheap as well, I think that foundation's around the same price. I love that foundation as well, it's just not as heavy. And then kind of my holiday foundation would be the Inglot AMC foundation. I buy it every year for going on holidays, it is quite lightweight. But I just love that foundation for being on holidays. So that would be my go-to foundation at the moment, just for myself now. So that's it then for foundations. So then the next question I have is, what is my favourite makeup to do? So, like, on myself and other people, I love to do kind of the same. Like, so I love, like, soft glam looks. So I think they're just fab at the moment, with, like, gorgeous skin and, like, not too much on the eyes. Um, love a nighttime glam but then like I do love a smoky glam as well like I love that like I think it just makes your eyes just pop out so much I love that and then colourful as well so like festival style makeup it's just a bit different to do just a bit fun you know to play around with colour love that as well so they'd probably be in my top three makeups to do so my last question today is what is my favourite eyeshadow palette at the moment so I have two favourites at the moment the first one for more of a natural going out smoky look would be the Kaylee MUA X so Sue Urban Bible palette, it's amazing, the colours are very me. And then for a colourful palette, I'd go with the Stacey Marie XB Perfect Carnival palette. I absolutely love it. Um, it has gorgeous colours in it. And I know she has like a bigger one as well. I only have the first edition. The second edition looks amazing as well. So I'll probably try and get my hands on that soon as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share my channel. That would be a great help to me. And thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you all again soon.